What's going on guys? Today I'm just going to show you how to basically do some quick splinted wood in Maya. So I'm going to do two methods. One method is going to be using boolean and the other is just going to be basically manually doing it but you can use some shortcuts to get it done a bit quicker. So let's start off with our cube. Make it like a plank. Right so first I'm going to show you boolean just because it's a bit faster so we'll grab a plane. Have that facing the plank. Bring that into it. Cool. Then we want some subdivisions on it because that's going to be where sort of it's going to be chunking away at the wood. So we'll go twenty. We'll go twenty. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Now select it. Go mesh or edit mesh. Go to transform. You click this little box. You go into the settings. I kept mine about two point five. It's about. It's basically how strong it's going to have an effect on it. Click transform. Drag the blue out. And now you'll get these spikes come away from it. And all you've got to do is make sure it's past the beginning of the wood. You select, I believe you select the wood first. Go boolean and then go difference. And then boom, you'll have it cut out. Now you get this really bad end on here. So a quick way to fix that if we just undo what I did. We just create an edge loop. Pop that in just after it. Do what we just did again. Just like that. And then now you've only got these shapes here. If you select those and then click triangulate, you'll get something. It's not the best way to do it, but it's very quick. Triangulate. And there you go. Now, the other way to do it, we get the same sort of mesh. is basically just doing it manually. So if we grab, use the transform here as well. So you can always go like that, eight maybe. Make sure it's sort of cube-like when you subdivide. After you've got it subdivided, basically start selecting the faces sort of you want to be spiked out. Come into soft select over here or press B. Choose the valuable, valued site desirable and then pull it out. So you get sort of spikes. Now you can adjust this to whatever you want. Maybe something like that. And I've also got mine on linear over here instead of that one. So you see that's more smooth, that's sharper. And then basically what I do is I just select a little bit at a time and keep pulling it out or pushing it in. After doing that for a bit, you can then make this a lower value for your soft select. A bit higher than that. There you go. And basically you just keep doing this until you get sort of what you're looking for. And look, you got sort of split in the wood. If I actually make it a bit thinner, there you go. Now that's a bit too far here, so we'll pull that in a little bit. Alright, so if you actually want a little trick where basically you're getting the opposite end of it, so if you look up it together, look, and then you could go snap like that. If you want to do something like that, what you've got to do is duplicate this. Delete all the faces on the left, keep the um, essentially these faces, extrude, and then just pull them that way. And then obviously it's going to have the shape here if you just flatten that. And we're going to pull it in. You'll see it's nice and snug. Oh, yeah. And that is how you do some quick splinter, splintered wood just in Maya. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if this helps anyone, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.